Why then would you write the recursive form and not the iterative form? Iterative form of some of these systems tends to be, as strange as this sounds, can often be mentally more challenging for humans when you start to really understand certain powers of recursion. And maybe the recursive form of exponentiation is not a good example, but I suspect if we thought about this, uh, we could figure that out. Let like um, Fibonacci is like so easy to do with recursion. It's literally just like, what are the last two things? Okay, cool. The next version is call the function. And then that just with this thing and then the one prior, and then that's the answer. And then you just keep recursing out until infinity or something like that. Uh, what does the iterative version look like? You got to keep track of things like, okay, this is the second to last, move that forward. So there's like more bookkeeping, uh, for example. So anyway, hopefully now that we've gone down a little bit on this rabbit hole uh, on semantics and why a hierarchy of variable granularity of semantics can be super important to track for machine programming as we start to do really powerful things like transpilation, full program transpilation from one language to the next. Like this is the kind of stuff that I think we need to get there. If we want to do this in like the a real way, uh, in a way that's more actual engineering and it's it's more robust than uh, like hand waving.